You're currently picking cotton for a white boy, you fucking nigger. Pick my cotton, nigger slave. Fucking nigger slave, pick my cotton, nigger slave. See, I know y'all remember that. And I know all the white people that's hating on Dunya, trying to say, oh, Dunya's a racist, Dunya. You laughed at that. I know you did. I know you found that funny. And none of y'all found anything wrong with that. None of y'all was angry. None of y'all was triggered. Y'all all laughed. Cool. So why y'all, what was said there was 10 times worse than what Dunya said. So what's, why, why y'all not keeping the same energy? Why do y'all just be picking and choosing? That guy in the cool made a reference to slavery. Made a, he, he said the N-word. He said you a nigga slave. That's 10 times worse than anything Dunya said. Dunya literally just said you literally black. And it was meant for a different context. This man said what he said of intent. It was a joke too. But that was a, that was an offensive joke. But y'all don't care. But when it comes to... Pick and stop picking and choosing. Ah, uh, boom. As a brown skin male myself, I can honestly tell y'all, Dunya, Deji's girlfriend, is not racist. I know we live in a snowflake society, so people get offended by anything. People be picking and choosing. And a lot of people be pick and choosing the race card. If you're gonna call Joe Rogan racist, if you're gonna call Dunya racist, then call the President of the United States a racist. Look at the shit he said. He has said worse of things than I've. I've heard of this man say worse things than anybody else, but y'all still be saying, y'all just pick and choose. Now listen to what she said. I know I made a video on it. I'm trying to get some views and trying to get that monetization. Y'all know how it is, man. But yo, she's not racist though, man. She she went out with them. She went, she she she, she was with Deji. That nigga ugly as shit. You don't have how much money you got, man. That nigga, that nigga. <laughs> Shout out my guy Deji. She lived in this man's house, his family's house for like two, three years, man. You know, a racist person will not do that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy Elon Line. Literally said this. Been sucking on Deji's fat lips for the past two and a half years. She can't be racist. I think she. Now, what she did say, it was out of pocket. I can understand how people took it the wrong way. I understand that we live in a society where people just jump on you for. I don't understand why she, how she, maybe she could have used different words. Maybe she shouldn't have said, she shouldn't have said nothing at all. Sometimes in this world, knowing how sensitive people are, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all because people are going to twist it and they're just going to try and make it into something else. I understood the joke. The person said, you got a big nose. She said, you're literally, you're black. You're literally black. What she meant by that was, I didn't know this, this is a stereotype. I didn't know black people. I think she meant that black people have big noses. I didn't know about that. I, I, if it was bigger lips, then yeah, no, that's it. But bigger noses, I don't know. So I can't comment on that. I don't know if they do or not. Is my nose big? Probably is. It was just a stereotype she was saying. It's not really that deep. Really not that deep. And then the person said, why you can't call me black? I'm not black or something like that. Then she was like, I'm sorry you're black. Cause it was like a joke, bro. Cause she thought he was trying to say, I don't want to be black. You know, it's just a joke. I understood the, I understood it. But a lot of people, they didn't understand it. They just jumped in and said, oh, you racist, you racist, you racist. It's really not that deep. It's not that serious. A brown male wearing all black. It's not that serious. Y'all sending death threats, bro? Damn. Y'all sending death threats? It's not that serious, bro. I've heard worse. Some of y'all favorite YouTubers have said worse. Worse. But y'all just be picking and choosing. So she's not racist. You know what I'm saying? That's coming from a black man. I'm telling you, I'm not offended by anything she said. It's not really that. It's not that deep. As I've said before, Joe Biden has said worse of things. He's still in presidency. Worse of things have been said by bigger people. It's really not that deep. If, what, if somebody is really a racist, if a white person is really racist, she will not. he will not date a black person. It doesn't matter if you may call her a gold digger, you may call her this, doesn't. if you, somebody is truly racist, they will not date the, op the opposite. They will not date a black person, an Indian person, they would stick to the whites, they would stick to white people. You understand? So my problem with y'all calling her racist, y'all y'all just be picking and choosing. You hear what she said, it, 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 I understand why people think it's that certain way. Y'all just be, but the thing is, the people that be pulling up the race car, y'all be picking and choosing who to pull it on. Joe, she, she, she didn't even say the N-word. Joe Biden has said the N-word in a, in a vicious context, but y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Some of y'all favorite white YouTubers have said the N-word. Some of your favorite TikTokers have said the N-word. Some of your favorite TikTokers have been blatant, blatantly racist, but y'all don't care. This was sarcasm. 
you have to know some people have a certain personality they have like a jokeful personality they don't mean any harm by what they say like me i used to call some of my my big friends fat tubby pieces of shit and that's just me when they when they piss me off i say that but it's all jokes i don't really mean it my intention is not to hurt you they understand it's a joke i understood what she said was a joke it was referring to a stereotype i did not know existed it's a joke but we live in a snowflake society where people just take things too seriously you can't have fun anymore i grew up on south park and family guys so i understand dark humor dark humor is hilarious you understand people do not have a sense of humor anymore it was a joke it was a bad joke it wasn't really it could have been applied in a different way they didn't have to, it wasn't a good joke if you're gonna make a joke at least make it at least make sure it's funny it wasn't funny but it was a joke there was no malicious intent behind what she said it was not racist whatsoever i did not look at that and think you were racist you know what she said you know what she said about like this as if she dropped the bomb that's just a joke she thought she did a good joke it's not that serious i'm not condoning what she said disclaimer i'm not condoning what she said but i'm telling y'all it's not that deep me a brown male was not offended i understood the joke we need to just calm down we get offended too easily we're just a snowflake society snow you just cancel we're not perfect nobody is perfect as i said in my joe rogan video every rap every white person who's trying to cancel dunya has said the n-word in their life you who is white watching this video have probably said the n-word in your life you are probably white listening to a song if you don't know now you know nigga you know you said the nigga in that song don't lie i know you have it's cool but you just be picking and choosing my thing is this if you want to cancel people for being racist cancel the president of the united states look at the shit this man has said but yo that's my my this that's my video quick disclaimer i'm not condoning anything she done what she said it was not funny i understand it was a joke i understand what she what she said i understand i understood it it wasn't funny but i understood it was a joke there was no mean intent behind it so stop sending death threats bro it's not that deep nobody's perfect nobody's perfect how many how many of these deji ksr fans be on, on black ops 4 saying nigga 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 on the xbox parties i've been playing gta 5 a lot of these kids be saying you fucking nigga did it you know what i'm saying y'all ain't saints so stop just calm down stop getting offended so quickly man but yo that means that's your boy t money peace out hey yo but yo i i, I don't I don't don't i don't want y'all in the comment section saying i'm condemning condemning racism nah i'm not condemning what was said i just understand I understand why y'all took offense to it. It was said of too much vim, too much. That's the way she said it. That sounded a bit off, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You gotta remember she's from Belgium. She's not fully English, so sometimes you're gonna word it differently in a more in a more in a more, you know what I'm saying? In a more colorful way. Instead of saying, hello sir, your skin complexion is authoritatively dark. You ain't gonna say shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But yo, peace out for real now.